We are a team who actively do sports. We test on our own at first, and then we hand it out to our team riders. Team Adams 4 is committed to prevent spinal cord injuries. There are actually three types of ways to injure your spine. Like it's the, the compression impact, the distraction impact, and the rotational impacts. And most likely for a spinal cord injury is an impact where a rotational force of your spine is actually involved. And that's why we just focused on rotational impact. And that's why the whole project is called RSP, Rotational Spinal Protector. The approach of our team is to develop something which is not something like an exoskeleton device. We see it more like a second skin device. In order to get information from our back protector, we implemented a couple sensors, one in the chest area and one in the waist. And this was given to our riders to test on the field. The information that we received from our measuring device was then put back into generative design. This gave us a specific structure that we could use to wrap around the body. The structure that generative design produced for us was used as an underlay for us to create a more efficient, better working back protector. When we thought about using generative design, I was a bit skeptical about the end results. I was worried that the structures and the forms that came out of the program wouldn't be useful for manufacturing. Autodesk software in Fusion 360 gave us a big advantage in the development process. You have a parametric design software which functions very well for our designers. Then you have a generative design process to develop efficient products. And then you also can implement G-codes for CNC machining to make the manufacturing process more efficient. What we are trying to do in the future is to use generative design as a constant tool in order to improve our products.